Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about Route 53. Route 53 is a fancy name which means that you are going to get some features here. Route means this can work as load balancer and 53 means this is working as DNS as well. So this is a combination of load balancer and DNS. This is why this is known as route 53. This is just not a fancy name, but this is a quite meaningful name as well. Fine. So within this video, we are going to learn how to host your first domain on your AWS platform. So for this practical, what we already have done, like I have purchased a domain, which is known as server Gyan. And I'm going to show you that how to set up that. Serveryan is a domain which I have purchased from GoDaddy. And um, now, now I'm going to host this domain on platform of AWS. Okay, fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this and let us see how to do all the stuff. Fine. So first of all, I will host this domain on AWS because obviously as we are talking about cloud computing so we are going to host this domain which we purchased from GoDaddy on platform of AWS. I will click on create hosted zone so here are two options available. The very first one when I enter my domain name here this will ask me for comments so I am going to say test. So this says either you are going to make this domain as public or you want to keep this as private. It means you want to run this domain as on intranet. Internet means you have some your some of your VPCs created inside AWS. So if you host this domain, so you will have to provide any VPC ID. It means if you say that I'm going to use this particular in this particular VPC ID only, only then this will be possible. Otherwise, what you are going to do is you will have to say that you want to host this in public domain. Fine. So if you create in private manner, so you, that, that will be accessible from any specific VPC only. But for this practical, I'm going to keep it public. Fine. I'm going to host this. Now there is one interview question that when you host any of your domain on AWS platform, then what records do you get? So these are two initial or essential records which we get from AWS platform. The very first one is NS. It means name server record. So what i will do here is now is i will copy these record these name server record which are provided to me from aws site and i will modify my domain which are name server record and i will update this here okay i'm going to say that i'm going to change name server if i'll say that i want to keep custom name server record so i will paste it here then after second domain name, second sorry, second name server, I will copy from AWS platform and I will paste it on GoDaddy platform. Once again, as I am provided, I uh, AWS has provided me four domain name servers, four DNS records AWS provided me. So I will enter all the four records here. Reason being, AWS says that if in any case if your AWS domain name server goes down, so you or your end user should not face any sort of downtime just because of DNS unavailability. So fine. What I have done is I have modified this. Now we have custom name servers available here and this will take some time definitely to get reflected. And after that, we can point a record here as well. Now this is TTL value. TTL value means if any of your customer enters servergan.com in web browser and tries to hit, for example, servergan.com, fine. If any user hits this, so definitely uh, this is not live yet. So this will be shown in this manner. Request will come to GoDaddy because obviously GoDaddy is domain registrar. GoDaddy knows that where this particular server is pointing to it means all the name server for servergan.com has been moved to aws now so godaddy will forward this request to amazon, uh, amazon uh, domain name servers which are these servers for servergan 
now i have pointed this name server on platform of godaddy now what i need to do is i need to point a record because obviously if i have to host this domain so i'll be pointing one a record as well so we were talking about ttl let us complete this section first what is ttl it means if any request comes to your server and these name server response goes to client side so what would happen is if end user hit same domain once again so request will be forwarded to same a record whatever you are going to point just right now i'm going to say create record set i will say here www and this will be a record i will keep ttl as 60 seconds reason being is i want to keep it quite faster because if i modify my a record within one minute period or within two minute period so it will be reflected as soon as i make changes here okay if i make this ttl two days one days or maximum three days if i can keep it here so obviously it's going to take some time if i want to modify so it can get reflected within same reason within maybe 10 minutes 20 minutes or maximum it can take 72 hours to get reflected across world fine so what i have done is i have pointed i have hosted a hosted a domain here on aws platform i have pointed a record as well now what if i refresh this page so it should be pointing to that particular server so it can take a couple of minutes the reason being because first of all your godaddy.com will refresh all the record pointing and after that if you want that if you have to check that your aws has pointing aws has updated all the pointings or not so you can check here all the records whatever you have updated these are available here so www.servergun.com is the domain which we are trying to access so let us try to access this in some different browser and different incognito mode so i'm going to access that here so if all the rec records are refreshed so this is available here. this is for route 53 test it means my domain has been hosted and this is how we can host our first domain on dns so let me make you guys recall that what all steps we have performed that first of all we purchased a domain from godaddy we modified name server record here which were provided from aws side and after that we have created one ec2 machine where our sample domain is running so this is ip of that ec2 machine so that ip we have pointed as a record on platform of aws as a record fine so this is it so this is how we can host our domain within next video we are going to discuss about that how to create multi-region failover or multi-region high availability cluster for your site fine so that is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time see you in next video if you have yet not subscribed to my channel please like share and subscribe and do not forget press to bell icon